Hey guys, DMike here, hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays for the finale of Yoshi's Island. This is the longest running Super Nintendo Sunday series by a lot. I don't know exactly about how many. And I don't think that there's going to be anything that super seeds this one for a while. So, might also have to do with the fact of just how I set it up. Because I was only doing two levels per episode. And then I also decided to do the bonuses kind of randomly. So, my method probably was what led to this madness. But let's get started. Do these final two levels. Keep moving. Ooh, it's a spooky. Yeah, this has been a fun one. Um, this is one that I did at the request of some friends long ago. Oh, boy. Oh, I don't like this. It is true to its namesake. Am I supposed to? Oh. Oh, it's going to be one of these. Okay, I see how it is. But yeah, so far, so good. It's been a, uh, it's been a nice experience. Um... Like I'd mentioned before in like all the episodes where I always talk about this, is I had never um, never played this prior to this series, of course. Didn't have it in my childhood repertoire, but I'm glad that I have taken the time to play it because it's a gem, of course. And I feel like most people that play this game will wind up liking it. I don't have any experience with the other... Where does this one go? Oh, is this just like a placeholder? Am I s did I screw myself? I might have. Ooh. Um. Yeah. This. <laughs> wow. I, I completely have forgot how to use my words there for a second. Um. Yeah. This is probably a game that's in a lot of people's childhood memories. Uh. Not mine. I did play. Um. I did play a lot of Super Mario World. The original. The first one. But not this one. Uh, but I see why people like it. I mean, obviously, it's been a fun ride. I'm talking about it like it's already over. Um, still got another whole castle duo. Get away from me, no. Murdered by pencils. Right at the b-hole. You don't want that. Don't put pencils in your b-hole, viewers, please. Alright. I'm gonna try this one again. I have no idea if this one has checkpoints or not, so... You might be seeing a lot of this one, and I was doing all of this on the first try, so, as I always do. Gotta watch out for that chibity chomp. But how's, uh, how, how are we doing, viewers? How's summer winding down for us? I'm not trying to scare any of you who are on a summer vacation or a summer break. I apologize if it's a little jolt to your system, but it is now August. And life comes at you fast, so prepare yourselves. It's almost a new school year. Oops. That was not smart. Time for 2324. For those of us who are adults, that probably means nothing. But for those of you who are in school, hope you're ready for it. And I mean that in a good way, not like, hope you're ready for it. I know that there is no age restriction on who watches my stuff, although I try to keep it pretty wholesome just for you guys there's a lot of nonsense out there in the world viewers and I'm trying to be that beacon of light there's so many rules too that if you basically break any of them for YouTube you're kind of toast so they're listening I remember during the uh, the once in a generation medical situation, we'll call it that, just because I'm not sure if that's still a problem or not. Um, I remember you couldn't even, you couldn't even mention that in your content. If you did, you got, you got booped. Oh boy, I just screwed this up. I don't think those come back. Do they? Maybe they come back? Nope. Wow, that is brutal. This game really does not want you to uh, have multiple attempts at this. Thankfully, I haven't gotten too far. I mean, not thankfully, because I don't know how long this final stage is going to take me. But yeah, you have to be careful what you say. I mean, you still do. You still have to be careful what you say. You don't want to 
upset the almighty YouTube. It's just kind of interesting how things have changed over time. I've been around using YouTube for probably the better part of a long time. And uh, it has evolved. Google did buy it at one point in history. I don't know when that was, but um, obviously maintaining a positive image and uh, keeping the brand at certain standards is something they will do as a large company. One of the biggest, in fact. I don't know if this is the right order to do this. I'm going to use the flutter jump to my fullest. Oops. It was not. I love when I do it right the first or second time and then I just can't get it after that. There's no real, like, muscle memory here, but I get lucky, I guess. But you gotta be careful with what you say. Mind your P's and Q's, of course. Back in my day, when you could only upload 10 minute videos, back in my youth, remember that? Does anybody remember that? 10 minute video? I'm actually gonna grab these. More. Look at that sound. More coins to see if I can get close to that one up. And I don't know if there was much of like a, a filter for like profanity or like inappropriate things that people have been saying. But I, from some of the people that I do watch, they make it a habit to be very self-conscious about the things they can and can't say and when they can and cannot say. That. Oops, I should have grabbed this. I wanted to hit these guys out of the sky. Like a butterfly in the sky. Um, Yeah, they're very self-conscious about it and they have to point it out all the time. So, like, I get it. You know, it obviously... It impacts their line of work. But, man, does that get old. Oh, it hasn't been a minute yet. You can't swear. Or whatever they say. Just feels a little bit on the childish side to me. But then again, we can't all be professional Let's Players like me, so I totally understand. Whoop. Alright. Yeah, this was the one where I didn't know where to go, and I still don't really know what to do. Okay, that one spins roughly the same rate that this one does. I think this one was the one that was logically the most attainable. You. Yeah. Alright, so this one goes this way. Oh no. Oh! Woo! Made the old b-hole pucker. That was close. Did I get to this already? I don't remember this. I don't remember it. I think I did. Whoop. Okay. I don't think that they give you checkpoints at this point. Oh, no, they do. <laughs> I say that right as I get one. I don't think they give you checkpoints in front of this checkpoint. Not my checkpoint. All right. Okay. A little Van Gogh in the background. A little surrealism. Woo. Do I need... Are you telling me that I need eggs? Because I have a full stock. Full stock of eggs. I'm going to miss that joke. Teasing people about how they say words. That is a reference from long ago. Ooh. Okay. Um, are you bringing it around town? Oh, yeah, you are. Kind of just want to grab coins for the safety of the oops, the win oops, if I can pull it off. Okay. So... This is fun. A lot of geometry going on. Ten minutes into this episode already, almost. It's not what my timer actually says, but I'm just gonna pretend it does. Whoa! Hey yo! Oh, this is another type of a platform that I've never been on before. Oh, is this like a rolling? St oh, this sucks. <laughs> this is like one of those Ninja Warrior things. The rolling S cargo. I was really into that show for a long time. Um. And I, uh, whoa, I was on a big nostalgia trip recently, actually. And I went and I watched, like, I don't know, a ton of episodes. It was kind of, it was kind of absurd. You ever have those moments when you do that? When there's something that you haven't seen in a long time? And then you're like, I'm going to watch a little bit of this just to refresh the old memory. And then you wind up watching what feels like everything that was ever created in regards to that series. That was me. I don't regret it. And one of the things that's tough about seeing shows like that is they don't... Those aren't shows that you can, like, pull up on your Netflix or Hulu or whatever. I think some of them are, um... 
I mean, that actually sounds kind of like bogus that I said that. I think some of them are on uh, Amazon. If you want to give your hard-earned dollars to Lord Bezos. Um, but yeah, I was watching all those old episodes. And I say old, but this is stuff from like, I don't know, a year ago, two years ago. I just didn't watch it in real time because I don't have cable. So I don't typically seek stuff out. I don't really stream it either. This makes me sound really boring. Um, I'm more of an after-the-fact kind of guy. I'll watch it whenever I have time. Oops. This slow ascent. Are we getting near the end of it? I got an entire other level to do game. At least this kind of feels like it's on rails. So I don't have to worry about knowing where to go. This all just feels kind of pointless. Um, at least there's arrows. Go this way. Wouldn't it be nice if life was like that, viewers? Ooh, we got a Super Mario. Kill you guys. This feels good. Haven't had a chance to murder enemies in a while. I feel like this grabbing this was a poor choice. Was I supposed to keep that for longer? I don't know. We're gonna deal with these doofuses now. You remember, these are the ones that can only be killed via the butt stomp. Nope. Come back, Mario. There we go. Yeah, I don't remember what these guys are called. Little jerks. That's all I got. Alright. Don't care about that. I'm just trying to stay alive. But yeah, those, uh, those Ninja Warrior shows were cool. I always enjoyed... Um, Back when I was younger, uh, watching that with my fam. You crack open an, a pizza, and then you'll watch that with your people that you're forced to live with. It's a very, like, dark way of saying family, but you get what I'm saying. You can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friends. You can actually pick your friends, I wouldn't recommend it, but... It depends upon your relationship with that person, of course. If they're into you touching their nostrils with your fingers, then do that. I still, um, oh boy. I, how did I not know that was going to come and happen and right at that moment? Oh, this is the end. What a nothing burger of a second to last level. Oh, viewers! We did it! I knew that was going to happen. Hard work gets rewarded. With a 100% score. And a bonus. One final bonus to close it out. The slot machine. Chance to earn extra lives. Would be good, actually. Let's see if we can get triple sevens. Probably not. I don't even know what the metric is for that. Oops. I goofed on that one. Oh, I would have had it if I would have gotten one more. But that's not how, uh, how anything works. Okay, here we go. Prepare yourselves. Hold on to your butts. We are wrapping this bad boy up. King Bowser's Castle. Is he a king already? Oh, we started out as a helicopter? Mind you, this is all new to me. I've never seen any of this. So I do not know what to expect. Oh, I'm racing Kamek. Racing him to the castle. All these skeleton phantom seagull things. Oops. Overshot the landing. Boop! I think it's funny that like they have Mario just kind of falling behind you. Wait for me, Yoshi! That's what children sound like, especially when they can't speak. Alright. So... I don't know what to expect here. Um, I also don't know what this is. How do I do this? Is this a puzzle? Am I going to hate this? Alright, so anyway, we just hit the two door. We took a number two. We're now in this area with all these shy guys. Oops. Yeah, this is going to be frustrating. I've got a feeling I'm not going to love it. I don't think I can kill these guys under here, so it's just going to be a matter of timing. Oh, I can't hit him. I okay. Down there. 
Get down there, you little weasel. Ooh, I like that sound it makes. It's one of the things that I appreciate about this game is the sound design is wonderful. Probably have said that a lot though. Oh, yikes. And this is supposed to be like the what? The final challenge, I guess. It's the final level of the game after all. Oops, didn't go this way. Oops. Just completely blew Mario up. Thanks. Let's go ahead and take a second to recover. Okay, cool. I'm not trying to rush through anything here, as you see. I do really like that, uh... The hot potato assembly line of passing that bomb around. That's very cute. It's one of the things I'm also gonna miss about this game, viewers. How cute it is. How cute you are, viewers. You're all, you're all cute. In your own way. Of course. Alright. So I don't think that this was where I was supposed to go. Um... And I don't know where that... Uh... Oh. Look at that. It's like a breadstick. Do you like breadsticks, viewers? I do. I remember... This is a long time ago, when I was a lad. Um... My sibling, she was, uh... Due to be married. And, uh, in the process... Okay, well, I don't need more eggs. That was great. I'm assuming this is where you get that key from. Didn't play that one very smart. I think there's a... Yeah, there's a... There's so many eggs better things in this level, so it makes me curious about, uh... Why I'm so bad at it. Anyway, so, breadsticks. Um... Yeah, so my, my sister, my sibling, she was to be married to my now brother-in-law. And, um, their wedding was very much a case of set it up yourself kind of thing. Um, you know, they didn't have like a wedding plan or anything like that. It was just very much done on the fly. They did everything themselves. Oops, should probably wait. And, uh, by and large, because they did that, it was a lot of extra work. I'm sure they probably saved themselves a pretty penny. How much do I need to hit you? You're the worst. Oh, so you basically have to use every single one of those eggs and you cannot miss. And you gotta get some rebounds too. We'll try this one more time. Anyway, and so the whole point of this story is about breadsticks actually, not about their wedding. It has nothing to do with their wedding. Um, I was younger. I didn't really know what was going on. This is before I could even drive, uh, which is at the age of 16. In the U.S. and A, 15 and a half, if you got your learner's permit, which we just refer to as a permit. Some people call it a learner's. I feel like that's silly. Um, but anyway, so we are at the venue that would eventually um, wind up hosting their wedding. I think it was in a church of some sort, as many are. And, uh, oh, I goofed. Dang it. This might not do it. Get over here, you little jerk. I think I have enough. Like, as long as I don't miss. I got your trap now. Oop. No, I don't. No, you really have to hit him with all six. I don't think I can progress until I do this, so. Story time. My brother in law, my now brother in law, my soon to be. I'd known him for a long time, so we were good friends, and uh, he was kind of like a, uh, a surrogate older brother, we'll call him that, as I'm sure many of you understand when you have uh, people marrying into your family. Hopefully you get along with them. But anyway, uh, yeah, so he and I got along very well. He was one of the ones that I would play video games with as a kid. Um, sometimes he would pop over to our home and hang out with me instead of my sister, so... Video games trump love, of course, as we all know that. All right, let's not miss. You gotta, you have to nail all six shots. I think it's six. That counted as a twofer, though. That was a twofer. I just keep him in the corner. I don't want just right to the dome. Ooh, was that a triple? I have one more, and I don't think he's the size he needs to be. 
Okay. Yeah, this is really frustrating. Can I just... Can I butt stomp you? And this is one of those situations where you have to do it with eggs. It's really dumb. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um... I'm at a bit of a loss here. Just because I don't want to keep doing this. I think you have to, though. I think he has the egg and... The key inside of him, not the egg. I have the eggs. But yeah, he was a little frustrated. A little stressed out from the... Soon to be wedding, of course. It's a pretty stressful situation. It's obviously probably one of the better days of your lives if you uh, really care about each other and you want to get married, of course. Um, but, uh, yeah, he was a little stressed out. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right, that worked out. Let me try and hit the ceiling again. I only got me two. Again. Yeah, this is frustrating. I don't know. Come back here. Ooh, get you down here. I can't see where I'm shooting, though. Ooh. Oh, you can cut through there. Alright. You can't kill me, at least. So that's good. Uh, Yoshi, you want to turn around, bud? <laughs> I'm locked into it. I gotta cancel the animation. There we go. One more, I don't know if one more does it though. Looks like you gotta hit him multiple times with this final shot. Oh, that did it. Viewers, it did it. Give me that key, boy. Wow. What an unnecessary gimmick. And I don't need- oh my gosh. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Hopefully it's just one of those situations where, like, you pick a door and all roads lead home. All roads lead to Bowser. But yeah, so he and I, uh... He decided he needed a little bit of a break from the intensity of wedding planning. So we went out to a Pizza Hut. I almost feel like this might be a... Oh, auto-scroller. This is like Super Mario World, but less fancy. Oh, excuse you. I do not want to redo this. Stop. Oof, that was close. Oh boy. Yeah, I really don't like this. There's a lot going on right now. Um. Yeah, we prefer not to redo this, so if K-Mac could screw off, that'd be great. Uh, we went to a Pizza Hut buffet. Anybody ever been to a Pizza Hut buffet? I'll let reset back to six. Yeah, I need this to really reset a lot higher, So I'm playing very poorly. How did that hit me? That shouldn't have hit me. I'm gonna wait for the Majix to go through. And we had some breadsticks. And the best part about that day was that the breadsticks we did have were not breadsticks that we ordered. Did we order breadsticks? Uh, of course, if you don't, then you are just a crazy person. Pizza Hut breadsticks are some of the most, one of the finest delicacies on earth if you live in the Midwest or anywhere that sells them. Um, there we go. So, oh, that only counts as one? That's dumb. So, we ordered uh, four, I think, to go with our Pizza Hut lunch buffet. I don't know if they, if they serve them with the buffet anyway. They might have, and this story might not make any sense if that's the case. Um, I don't know, but we don't want that. Give me that. Yes! Halfway through the end, viewers, I think, or maybe a quarter of the way, a third. I don't know how this game subbed up. Oh, no, it's right there. <laughs> That's a big door. Look at that, viewers. The final door. So you just have to go in one of the uh, initial doors, unless I pick the right one, which would be sweet. All right, here we go. Not welcome here, Yoshi. Please hand over the baby. He said please. Oh, there's baby Bowser. I've been taking a nap. I love naps. So we had a family order of breadsticks that was like 15 of them. It was amazing. And we did not eat all of them because that was too many. Too much sodium. He wants to go sweepy by Kamek. Oh, shoot. Straight up murdering Kamek. That's incredible. Gween Donkey? Oh, we 
because he can't speak. He's in green. Looks like fun, me want a ride. So he wants Yoshi. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that... If this situation where he lands and then you gotta butt stomp him afterwards. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, I have him. Oh, he's... Oh, he has me! <laughs> well, I need these, though. Can I butt stop you? No. I cannot. Must be an egg situation. Eggs? Okay, I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay. What a fun boss fight. I mean, I am hitting him. I don't know if I'm doing anything to him, though. I'm out of eggs, so... Is this... Is this good for you? Bowser? Yeah, I don't... Uh... Oops. I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Can I lick your face? Oops. Stop it. Yeah, uh... What a fun final fight thing. Get off me. Yeah, I, I don't... I don't remember what I did initially to get all that to happen, but... This is great. Viewers, are you having fun? I don't... I don't understand what I'm doing. Am I doing this wrong? Do I do it a few times? Feels like he's impervious to... My butt stompings. get him to spit stuff out earlier. Huh. I don't know. But I definitely feel like I'm doing this wrong, so... I'm not getting any sort of, like, feedback. I mean, I, did, I got a little feedback when I was shooting the eggs. Not even hit you from really high. This is very confusing. I'm not enjoying this. Music's fine. Great as always. All right. <laughs> Let's. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll be back in a second, and I'm gonna go and check out what's going on. I think I figured it out. I mean, I didn't figure it out. <laughs> I guess we can. Uh, we can also ground pound and send uh, a little bit of uh, his own medicine his way with the ground pound. I never would have really thought of that. <laughs> Thank you to the whatever source that is that <laughs> told me about what this is. I mean, I knew it. I knew that that was what was going to happen, but, you know, I just wanted to confirm just to be sure. But this is, uh, of course, probably only the beginning of the end. Let's three hits. You know what that means. Another phase. And KMX is going to step in and use his magics, of course. Cover Bowser and his goo. Uh-oh. It's about to get real. Oh, yeah. Time for the big show. Oh, yeah. This is going to be sweet. This definitely has vibes of the final fight from Super Mario World 1. There he is. Oh, he's a big boy now. Someone's been eating their vegetables. Or their uh, meat infused with hormones. Alright, so I don't know what can kill me. But I do enjoy the... Uh... Oops, I don't think I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> Super cool boss fight ended by uh, immediately me being stupid. <laughs> you know what it says. <laughs> oh, we're back. I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. 
Alright, so this is the same thing as before. At least we know what to do now. We can do this pretty quickly. As Bowser is covered in pee. We've missed. Oops. Yep. Now you can finish this first phase off and speedrun our PB time. Look at that. Viewers, done! Amazing. So here we go. Phase two again. This is going to be great. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those, like, back him up kind of bosses. Probably should not fall into a pit again. I think that that was what the arrow was telling me, that there was a pit opening up. Anyway, I was trying to make fun of the butt rock here. It's very Mega Man-esque. Yeah, that's what it was trying to tell me. Oh, there's giant eggs. Ooh, he's a fire's laser! How do I shoot this at you? Okay, so that was... <laughs> These are giant eggs, and that was not it. I need you to stop trying to destroy my, uh... There's a bit of an arc to it as well, that's annoying. Is that even gonna hit him? <laughs> I don't understand how this is supposed to go at all. Yeah, this is, uh, not... This is not, uh, easy. Is that art good enough for... Oh, there we go. I can't even snoot. That's it. Right, you gotta boop a snoot, viewers. Looks like that might be a little bit too high. Yeah. It took me after I wake up from a nap. That's a little bit too high. Is this Animal Crossing? Do we need to get our slingshot out? Stop shooting at me. Give me a second. Probably just need to keep this. That might do it. Get him! Who I just missed. What a cool final boss fight. I don't know if I'm enjoying this or not. This feels a little tedious. Because I'm obviously not being successful. This isn't. Oh, there we go. Back him up! Back that thing up. You were real fine, baby Bowser, when you backed the thing up. Alright. I just want to be done with this. Oh. He gives you a little bit of a grace period right here. Is that too high? Yeah. You only got these three platforms, too, so you have to be looking at your lateral space. It's probably not the official. Is that good? Yeah, boy! Alright. Is that another phase that's coming my way? Yeah, I feel like this is probably going to be bad. Am I going to reduce my... My place to stand... Oh, you know what? Oh boy. Uh, this sucks. But I got a straight shot now. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, that's annoying. Alright. Alright, viewers. Phase 2. Who's ready for more? I'm still very confused about, like, the overall trajectory of these shots, because it seems like some of them are, oof. Some of them are more, like, straight on. I got two shots, I'm already. Um, and some of them have more of an arc. Oh, is that good? Shoot. I'm busting him right now. Oh, now everything's coming together for D-Mike. <laughs> Was that it? Sorry for the lack of fanfare. Apparently I just got really good in the last, like, ten seconds. Fierce, I did it! Oh my goodness. That's all it took, was me to stop being stupid for an entire minute. That's a little bit of a wet far of an ending, sorry about that. Someday you'll be back. But you know, it's time for a family reunion. Someone we haven't seen in a while, viewers. Do we remember who it is? Oh! Well, the stork is dead. Oh, it's Luigi! Baba da booby? We did it, we rescued him. Viewers, we beat the game off. All right, now I gotta use my reedy voice. Here we go, like the beginning. Thus, 
Due to the marvelous teamwork of the Yoshi clan, the twins are united. The captured stork is freed by Yoshi and sets about his duty and finally makes the long-awaited delivery. Thank you, Yoshi. The twins will meet the parents soon. There's actually not really a whole lot of information about, you know, who the the parents are of the Mario brothers, but you do see them if you've seen the Mario movie. But yeah, hey! Viewers, we done did it! Although I kind of anticlimacted the ending, that's fine! Yoshi goes back to... Destroy Bowser's castle? Oh yeah. No real estate for you. We have done it. Doesn't that feel good, viewers? What a cool game. A game that I was thankfully able to 100%. Here's some cool, uh... Probably Mode 7, if that's what this is trying to be. Ending here. Yeah, this... I feel like this game, um... You know, in retrospect was very different from Mario World 1. And I think Mario World 1 was an instant classic. And so I think that this one probably wasn't too far off in terms of how well it was liked, but trying to follow up a game like that is obviously really tough to do. So, you know, you've got Mario 3, that was a hit. You got Mario World, that probably even pushed the boundaries of what Mario 3 could do. And then you have this one, which obviously this is a huge pivot. This is a big risk that they took to make something like this. And I don't think that that's a problem. I don't think that's bad. I think in life it's fun to push what you're capable of and try to set a new standard for yourself or just to try something new. And they did. And I think it worked. I think this game was a lot of fun. It was different, of course. It was... Very endearing. The art style is wonderful. It's very much its own thing, which is nice. They didn't really borrow too much from the past, besides the some of the character designs. But in general, I enjoyed this. I thought it was a fun ride. It's been a while since I've finished a Super Nintendo Sundays game, which is funny that I say that because Link to the Past is almost done too, so oops, didn't really time these out very well. Part of that's just because of the method I did of this game. This one is definitely a uh, a long road if you make it. You could probably blaze through this one if you don't just play two levels an episode. But, you know, part of the process for me doing this was that I wanted to 100% everything like I did. So, you know, that's obviously important. And I did it for you guys. It wasn't for me. It was for the viewers. That's what means a lot. So, as we sit here and enjoy this ending scroll with this cool finale song we can look back at the longest Super Nintendo Sundays game that is now coming to a close thanks to Derek Whipple as far as I know that's the only non-Japanese name that I've seen on this list so far also big kudos of course to Mr. Miyamoto who has brought all of these wonderful games to life in his time as the creative director at Nintendo wouldn't have a childhood without him, as I'm sure many of you can say that for yourselves. But yeah. So that, uh... That just about wraps it up. Looks like they just arrived where Mom and Dad live. We're heading back to... Be with Mom and Pops. In our mushroom hut. I thought Mario and Luigi were from Brooklyn. <laughs> that doesn't look like a rundown apartment building to me. Is that not canon? The stork has finally been able to do its job after it failed many times. And Mario and Luigi are back home, safe and sound. This is, I guess, their explanation for how they wound up in the Mushroom Kingdom, so... I guess that makes sense. But that's not... How that was discussed in the Mario movie. Is that not canon? But that's it, viewers. Uh, that's the end. So thanks for watching. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays with Yoshi's Island. And I'll see you next time. Bye.